Hello folks, I've finally found a spare five minutes uh, between sleeping and working from home, which is all I seem to be doing lately, um, to take a look at this. So yeah, it's an old floppy drive. I picked this up easily a decade ago and it's just been kind of hanging around ever since. And I bought it because at the time I think it was about £12 I paid for it, but I have absolutely no idea if it works or not and I've never tested it because I've never actually needed it because I do have on my BBC Micro I've got this really rather nice Opus disk drive that's what I use as my daily driver it works beautifully so um, so yeah I've never needed to use this so it's never been tested but I thought well since I'm stuck in the house anyway let's give it a go and it's definitely seen better days it's really grubby and dirty although that's probably because I've not done anything with it for a decade a bit banged up in places but that wasn't me I don't have any cables for it so I'll have to steal them temporarily off me uh, off me other drive yeah let's take a look inside Well, I've got to say, it looks very clean inside. I don't know if anyone can tell me what brand this is. I haven't seen any, any markings. Looks good. How would I clean that head? That might be difficult. Oh, no, there we go. It's a Mitsubishi drive. So there we go. Yeah, I can't for the life of me figure out how I'm supposed to clean the head on this thing because you can't get near it. But you know what? I only want to test it for now. And if it works, which is questionable, I'll worry about that at a later date. I only opened it to make sure that there was nothing really nasty going on inside here, but I can't see anything. It looks really clean. So let's plug it in and see what happens. OK, we're hooked up. Let's put power to it and see what happens. Let's just turn my machine on, excuse the arm. Ah, now something's running. I can hear a motor. Should it be doing that? It's turning. Or I can definitely hear something turning. Oh yeah, that's going. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. But it is. Try putting the latch down. No, that's just running. Is it meant to do that? Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that, but um, let's give it the benefit of the doubt and assume it's supposed to. Oh, oh, no, it's just, just this second stopped. All right, let's try it with a disc. I have a copy of a B-Bug magazine disc. Oh, it started again. And stopped. That's bizarre. I've never known that before. Let's try this disc. Sorry, one-handed. Okay. Will it load? Oh. That would be a yes. All right. I think I just got my £12 worth. This seems to work perfectly. So it seems to make a really loud click before it starts reading the drive. And here's why. If you look at the top, where the head would be, I'll just access it. You've got this little mechanism here that pops up and down with quite the bang. So watch this again. You'll see there'll be a loud click that will pop down and it'll start reading the disc. With a delay. Yeah. 
It's a noisy thing. It really is. Now here's a test for it. I've got a disc that was formatted using the Opus drive, using the Opus filing system. I wonder if it'll work in this. Whether or not the ROM in the computer is enough to detect the difference. Or it needs the original drive. Let's see what it does. Spools up. No, disc fault, and I know this disc is good, so no. So there are limitations. It's not going to replace my Opus drive, but hey, you know, it's, uh, it might come in handy for something. So I think before I put it back together, I'll just give it a little wipe over, a little clean. And what better? Baby wipes. And then, yeah, it can go back together. Yeah, so there you go, there's that. I mean, I don't know what I'm ever going to use it for, but at least it's nice to know it works. So yeah, so I am going to be working on more videos when I can. And I'm going to try and do some more in-depth stuff as well. It's just a little bit difficult at the moment, because um, although ironically, because I'm now working from home, I'm at home a lot more of the day. But as anyone who works from home will tell you, you do a lot more work, so you actually have less time. So maybe I can do some more stuff at the weekend, I don't know. I will do my best to get more out anyway. But in the meantime, um, please do take care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next one.